G'day. How's it going? Um, yeah, long time no see. Um, just for a change. I uh, haven't really done anything to the bike again, <laughs> funnily enough. Uh, I've had a mission trying to get these front brakes done. I've took, taken it to a shop and um, to get some professional advice and uh, the front brake, uh, the front brake hoses are poked. So pretty much need to buy some of those. I will get them next payday. Um, instead, I've been spending my money on holidays and stuff like that. You know, it's summer in New Zealand at the moment, so yeah, had a bit of leave and and, and whatnot. Um, but uh, yeah, but anyway, um, today uh, what I am going to do, um, and I'll film it because I want to get some stuff up on the channel. Uh, I'm going to uh, make a little strap for the battery box and uh, hopefully make a, uh, a little simplified inner mudguard because in order to get the, um, the bike certified, reseated for the road, I have to make you know follow a whole bunch of guidelines. Uh, at some point I'm going to just book it in um, and, and see what they can do, but until then uh, I want to get as close as I can to getting it certified, so because there's only a little bit of amount at a time. Uh, once you've paid for the certification, I think you get, and I'm pulling this out of my ass here, but theoretically a month before you uh, have to repay for the whole certification again. So what I'll do is I'll get as close as possible to the certification, and then um, when I take it in, hopefully I only need to tweak a couple of few things. So things that I do know is it needs a rear and a mudguard. Um, so I'm just going to mount that to the battery box. It also needs a battery box, so it needs to have the battery properly mounted inside that battery box. Um, I've got this thing here. So that's a little uh, sort of a steel box, uh, aluminium box that the bloke had made. Um, the guy I bought it off had made. Um, so I'm going to reuse this. I've, I've drilled a little. The only thing I've done here is I've drilled a little couple of holes here and put some bolts through. Um, that will. Uh, that sort of sit nicely in the bike, but I need to trim them, and it's a mission trying to screw uh, the bolts off without a ratchet spanner, which I don't have. So I need to shorten those down. I'm going to put butterfly. Uh, I'm going to put a wing nut, on, wing nut on there instead, um, just to save me some time taking it off and on and off, and put some spring washers in there so it doesn't rotate off. Well, hopefully that works. Um, that's my battery. I'm not sure if I showed it in the last episode, but that's the new battery I bought. I had to put the uh, the acid in there itself. Hydro, what is it? Um, what kind of battery is it? I'm not too sure. I will probably put that lead acid, PB, I think that's lead. Um, could be wrong. I been, haven't been in school since 10 years now. Uh, and this is this is an actual, this is a stock CB, uh, sorry, CX500 in a mudguard. Uh, I'm gonna cut it down so what I want to do is I sort of want to make a little bit of a, a cut through here and just simplify it so it's nice and small and I'll just bolt that onto the back of this battery box here and then it will sort of sit in there and be held in by the battery box and again it's it's nothing pretty but it's just so it gets suited and then once it's suited we'll do some crazy fun stuff hopefully and actually make it into a nice little bike but um one thing first things first you know so uh, here we go, I'll film all of that. I've got an old old belt that uh, I'm going to use. Just uh, rivet it on. And then I've got some cool little things that I'm going to try and make into a, a cool little clippy, what's it, thingy majigger. So, uh, yeah.
clips and um, this thing it's got a little hole in it so you can poke it out on the outside of the thing and then use it as a little lock and it will hold it down um, I was thinking of trimming it and putting a little e-clip on it which I also bought uh, a little e-clip thing and then I could like use that so it doesn't actually come out use a little e-clip just scar that along this bit here so it's got a little thing that doesn't pop out and uh, I think that'll probably work but uh, one thing at a time so You know, like heaps of different types, which is really handy. You got the nuts all through here, and you even got some nylock ones. Yeah, I mean, probably cost me maybe ten or fifteen bucks or so. You know, New Zealand, maybe maybe ten. I'm not too sure. Just very handy stuff. trim this right down like and it's gonna go sort of up here and then round off around here and it'll just be a nice little simplified inner mud guard time to try and fit this on the bike Sort of, that's my final thing. It's a little, a little bit stupid. So far, <coughs> when I refine it, I would like to do a nice rounded piece here, so it's a little bit more stealth-like. But that, again, that's just so it's got a guard that follows. I, I think it's supposed to be. I 
I don't know, at least a third of the wheel or something. So you've got your back wheel here, then you've got your guard here, and effectively this whole thing here is a mud guard, you know, underneath to stop all the shit flying everywhere. You know, it's funny because I might not even need that, but yep, that's done. So we got our nice little strap with a little R clip down the bottom here, riveted on that side, go to the top. That's not going anywhere. And uh, yeah, one step closer, I guess. Cool, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.